Now, if you're watching this, it means you've clicked on another exciting video in Wine 101 at Spit Bucket. You're lucky, lucky people, because we're about to get some uh, gems from John at Ultimo Wine Center about what's hot and what's interesting in France at the moment. That's um, not necessarily going to break the bank. So, famously, obviously, you've got uh, Bordeaux and the Rhone and Burgundy, which can get quite pricey at times. Um, and there's some great wines there, of yeah. course. But what else is, is happening in the French wine scene? Okay, well, certainly, I think you can keep the Rhone in this. Certain parts yeah. of southern Rhone, Gigondes and Vacaras, and some of those villages are starting to produce some great wines. And I think Cote de Rhone is often the best value wine in yeah. France. But I think there's a couple of issues. There's a sort of, you know, those historical regions have become very expensive. With a great improvement in winemaking, you're seeing a lot of younger guys producing interesting wines in a lot of the other areas that in the past uh, may have been famous just for Loire Valley for white wines. We're starting to see some red wines um, yeah. from Borgil. You've got one uh, here? Got, yeah, from uh, Domaine de la Bot, uh, Jackie Blot. Um, really interesting Cabernet Francs. Mm -hmm. And there's a number of really interesting reds coming out of. Uh, out of uh, the Loire. Yeah. I think Beaujolais yeah, is another region in, inside Burgundy from 2009. There's some fabulous uh, yeah. Beaujolais. I think that's sort of the, the lifetime vintage for me. I've never seen a better vintage uh, of Beaujolais. And they're fantastic drinking. That's a really good tip. Look out for 2009 Beaujolais. Um, no longer is it this kind of weird wine that gets flown to Japan and people bathe in it um, on the first <laughs> weekend in... Th uh, third. Thursday in November, I think, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the wines are fantastic these days, yeah. and you can get a better selection of, of Beaujolais in Australia now than ever before, and look out for the 2009s. Okay, now I think also uh, the really interesting hot area, I think, producing some of the best value wines in the world at the moment is just the south of France, around the Languedoc area, yeah. Roussillon, uh, Fougeres, some of those regions. Um, Minervois, there's some fantastic wines being produced, and the prices are very, very keen. Um, and what would you expect to pay for a, for a really good wine from one of those regions? I think you can start from about $15 up to uh, 30 uh, 30 is about the, the top. I think there's a lot of more expensive cuvées coming out, but I yeah. don't think you need to spend that. And they tend to be a bit, they suffer from the Australian disease sometimes, over-extracted and over-wooded. Yeah. Uh, so there's some really interesting fruit wines. I think Provence, there's some really interesting rosés coming out of Provence. Uh, some nice uh, reds there, and southwest France down around Cahors and the, the Pyrenees region. There's some really interesting wines. And what sort of great varieties are we talking about with these regions? Are they all the same or are they quite different? No, they're generally pretty different. Uh, you know, southwest with sort of, sort of ca uh, Cabernet Francs, there's some um, Malbecs mm -hmm. uh, around the Cahors region. Yep. Um, they're traditionally big, very powerful, extracted wines, but today there's some really lovely wines yeah. coming out of there. And some, some of the wines, the Grand Mansang, Petit Mansang, are some very interesting wines yeah. in the southwest. Okay. And what about um, the Roussillon, Fougere region? Yeah. Are those more Shiraz? Or Pardon, Syrah, yeah, there's Grenache? a bit of Shiraz there, but predominantly uh, a blend uh, principally with Grenache is the, yeah. the, the keystone to most of those wines. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Well. So some of the tips there, really look out for um, the Loire for both reds and whites at great value. Um, the Languedoc region, Fougere, Roussillon, um, Minervois, um, and across to the south uh, west in Cahors, some interesting wines down there. And Provence for Rosé, some of the best Rosé in the world. Yeah, no fantastic. Doubt about it. Yeah, and you yeah. don't have to break the bank for that. No, you get really excellent wines from 15 to $30, yeah. And also the Rhone. Make sure you give the Rhone a good look. Cote de Rhone can be a great value wine. Um, and some of those uh, southern um, Rhone uh, appellations that we mentioned, Gigondas and Baccarat. Um, so lots to be excited about in France. It's an ever-evolving um, area for wine uh, with lots of young winemakers coming up and doing some interesting things these days. So keep the lookout and um, you don't need the uh, father-in-law to be buying you all of those bottles. You may be able to afford some of them yourself. Um, but that's it for this edition of Wine 101 on Spit Bucket. Thank you, John, for having us in Ultimo Wine Centre. Always a pleasure. And you'll find all those wines you uh, just heard about here if you ever want to come down and have a look. Great. Cheers. We'll see you again soon.